Hello, my name is Peter Miller, and this is Fight Back. On a scale of 1 to 10, how important is equality? I'd say it's a 10. 10. 10. 9 or 10, definitely. I agree, probably like a 9 or 10. Uh, it's an absolute 10. 10. Why is equality so trendy? On most college campuses, you hear about marriage equality, income equality, gender equality, and social equality. But what does all this egalitarianism really mean? Define equality. Define, oh, you, want to go, you want to go first? Define equality. You define equality. Oh. Define equality. Uh, define equality. Hmm. Equality. <sighs> you can take that one. <laughs> um. Equality is when people are treated like everyone else, but not really. This is, I just woke up, all right. I'm trying to think of a way to not use the word equal. Yeah. Uh, treating everyone uh, equally, like, like you would want to be treated. Fair treatment of all people, no matter uh, race, religion, ethnicity. It's just everyone's included in whatever is going on, and they feel safe, comfortable, and can do whatever they want, and hit, uh, feel like they can do it, whatever. Sure. Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care. Well, there's a big difference between true equality and egalitarianism. While true equality among men is good and comes from our shared human nature, egalitarianism is a liberal worldview that paints all legitimate inequalities as evil and strives to eliminate them. So the left is addicted to this false religion of leveling. It doesn't really care about true equality. It cares about egalitarianism, which it calls equality. For example, under the banner of equality, the French Revolution justified regicide, acts of terror, and the persecution of the church. French revolutionary leader Robespierre said, It is not enough to have overturned a throne. Our concern is to erect upon its remains holy equality. Under the same banner of equality, communist and socialist regimes tortured and snuffed out millions upon millions of lives. And right now, under the very same banner, the homosexual revolution is tearing down moral values and attacking the definition of natural marriage. Deep down, this attempt to do away with all natural differences is a direct attack against God and His plan for creation. What does St. Thomas Aquinas say about inequality? St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that inequality is good because God wants the universe to reflect all of His perfections. Since individual creatures only reflect a small aspect of their creator, God made a world with an enormous variety of different creatures to better express his infinite perfection. So let's take a look at the inequality God gave us in his creation. The mineral kingdom. Think about the mineral kingdom and its complex hierarchy. We find common stones used to build beautiful cathedrals, and we have rare and precious stones that dazzle and sparkle. The Hope Diamond is clearly not a piece of ordinary sandstone. So, from a grain of sand to a sapphire, each mineral has its own place, role, and function. The Plant Kingdom. The Plant Kingdom has an immense variety. Each tree, shrub, and vegetable has its place and purpose that reflects a sliver of God's perfection. The simplicity of a dandelion will never match the elegance of a rose which is the queen of flowers. Then there's the mighty sequoia that outclasses other trees with its massive majesty. The animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is a staircase of unequal creatures. The bald eagle, for example, reflects America's highest virtues much more than a clumsy <laughs> turkey or a toad. The African lion is the king of beasts. <laughs> and the ugly hyena instinctively knows it. The charm of the house cat is entertaining, but it doesn't match the fidelity of a guard dog. So as you can see, each animal has its place in the order of creation. The human kingdom. So the same principle of inequality applies to mankind as well. 
As children of Adam and Eve, we all share the same human nature and inherit the same basic rights that flow from that nature, such as the right to life, the right to start a family, the right to private property, and the right to practice the true faith. Although our human nature is the same, our accidents are so different. Virtue, intelligence, leadership, strength, beauty, age, learning, and of course, the differences between male and female. Our natural differences are self-evident. Navy SEALs are much stronger than the Boy Scouts. I like everything in Cub Scouts because it's fun. Mozart's musical talent was way above average, and the Blessed Virgin Mary is the prototype of all mothers. So as you can see, the human condition varies greatly. American author James Finnemore Cooper once said, equality of condition is incompatible with civilization and is found only to exist in those communities that are but slightly removed from the savage state. In practice, it can only mean a common misery. And St. Pius X adds that human society as established by God is composed of unequal elements. Just as the different parts of the human body are unequal, to make them all equal is impossible and would mean the destruction of human society. True equality sees all men as children of God. We have the same basic rights, but we also recognize, foster, and celebrate the inequalities that God gives to each individual. Inequality fosters harmony. Mankind is like a big symphony orchestra. Each instrument plays its part. Some instruments are prominent, others less. But the harmony of the orchestra comes from the ensemble, working together under the wand of a conductor. You can't play a concert with just one instrument or on just one note. It doesn't work. In a well-ordered society, everyone plays his or her instrument well. The violin doesn't envy the trumpet, nor does the flute attack the oboe. Harmony reigns. But when individual members of society are consumed with envy and hatred of their neighbor's role and position, harmony crumbles. This class hatred is the essence of Marxism and socialism. Inequality doesn't exist for the benefit of those on the top, but rather for the good of the whole. The authority of parents over their children is for the benefit of the children and the entire family. The authority of the professor is a benefit to students and universities. And the authority of the police officer is for the safety and benefit of the common good. Look at it this way. Every harmonic and proportional inequality in creation is like the rung of a ladder that lifts us up and helps us to reach God. That's why the liberal left hates it so much. And that's why the egalitarian revolt, at its very core, is an act of hatred against God. Thanks for watching. God bless you, and please subscribe by clicking here to get future Fight Back videos.